Hey Candy Flames, welcome back to my channel or welcome. Today I am reviewing for you Autumn Daydream. So this is from the Daydreaming of Autumn collection. So on the UK website there is only a couple of reviews at the moment. We actually have a five star rating but only from two reviewers. Obviously this candle is quite new. We have spend the perfect autumn day strolling tree-lined streets with the scents of clove, lavender, balsam and eucalyptus woods. This is a fresh clean fragrance. So very nice in look as you can see there you have some of these tree lined streets and looks very autumnal. So this one it's like a red burgundy brownie coloured wax and I have to say it was giving me woodland road trip vibes. That candle we had was it last year or the year before I cannot remember but yeah it was definitely giving me some woodland road trip vibes there. So we have top notes of clove, clary sage, persimmon, which by the way I've researched because I didn't know what that was, and in the UK it's called Sharon fruit, and apparently it's very sweet and sugary. We have mid notes of rhubarb, lavender, geranium, and a base of eucalyptus woods and balsam. So it looks very autumnal, definitely you know gives me them autumn vibes, gets me very excited because I do love my autumn candles and then obviously going into my Christmas candles, great time of year, love this. So this one, like they say, it's a fresh and clean fragrance. I've got the lid here so I can just remind myself of what's going on in it. Now Believe it or not, I can definitely get the rhubarb. It's not the dominant note, but there is that tart fruitiness to this. I definitely pick up on the clove and the clary sage, definitely. And I can get the lavender, the eucalyptus woods and the balsam. I would sum this up. It is one of them masculine aftershavey vibes. And I know that some people are put off by that. They don't want to be smelling another man's aftershave candle. I personally love them. I mean, to name a few, Midsummer's Night, Lakefront Lodge, they're some of my most favourite candles. I really adore that sort of clear, clean, fresh, masculine, shower jelly, aftershave vibe. I love it. And if you love it too, you will love this candle. Don't be put off because it is not all about that. I can smell this this nature vibe in there. I'm definitely getting that woodsy vibe with it and that nature smell, which is obviously all your lavenders, geraniums, you know, there's a lot going on here nature-wise. And it can it can take you to like walking through the woods on, a, on an evening, a nice autumn evening. There's that freshness in here, which I think is provided by the eucalyptus woods. That is giving that fresh vibe. I think they've done it very well. I think it's blended beautifully and there is definitely something autumnal in the background. It's like an autumnal masculine aftershave -y vibe. I adore it. I really do like this. This is another one for me for the evening time. I just adore these kind of scents for relaxing. I find them, you know, relaxing, comforting, very soothing. Put your feet up. Love them. This one is a change for me because a lot of the autumn candles, you know, we have an apple, we have pumpkin, we have a lot of that going on. And I just find this one is definitely for me one that's going to cut through them a bit different. And I'm going to really like using this in the evening. I do think this will work through the winter time a little bit bring in some warmth to them cold winter evenings and personally for me because I love it so much I do think it will also work well in the summer on them summer evenings especially in that transition from summer to autumn which we're kind of in now it's working really well I'm actually going to put the lid down because I find it quite addictive like I just keep wanting to sniff it that's how much I like this scent if you like them sort of vibes, what I've told you, you're going to love this. If you've already tried it, please let me know in the comments because I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. The season, like I say, I've, I've gone over. It is designed obviously for autumn, but I feel you could get away with using this throughout the year. The throw was a six and a half to seven. So it doesn't pack a punch. I'm not going to lie. You don't sort of walk in the living room where I have it burning I don't walk in there and feel like wow it's not packing a punch but it is there it is nicely there it brings an atmosphere and like I say six and a half to seven it's a traveler it travels down the hallway and it 
performs perfectly for what I want it to do. I don't think I'd like this one any stronger. It's just right the way they've done this. So would I buy again? Yes, obviously, definitely. So that's this candle. If you like them vibes, like I say, get out and try it. If you've already tried it, let me know. It's definitely a win-win for me. So I will be jumping into the rest of the collection. So first of all, just want to talk about a few things that are going on. So on the UK website at the moment, there's a deal. Two of these candles um, are £45, so that's a good deal at the moment. So I've took advantage of that and stocked up. I do have coming up for you now the rest of this collection. We have Mall Sangria, Riverside Walk, Pumpkin Creme Caramel coming up. Then I will review this whole collection together so we can see what worked, what didn't, what ones I liked, what ones I didn't. We'll go over all that. And then um, I'm going to jump into some more autumnal scents. I do want to try this smoked vanilla and cashmere. I also have warm cashmere, so perhaps I'll compare the two. I definitely want to jump into them. I also am going to do a video on my top 10 autumn candles. If I could only have 10 autumnal candles, what ones would I choose? So I will have that video coming up as well. Then we're going to run into Halloween. <laughs> Halloween in the UK, I think we get forgotten about, definitely do. There's some really nice ones I've heard that are floating around in America that I would have loved to have tried, but they're not here. Anyway, I did contact Yankee Candle just to ask them, are we going to be in for a surprise? Because sometimes they do do that. And they told me never to rule out a surprise, but at the moment they're pretty set with what they have. But, you know, you never know. We might get that last minute candle that last minute surprise for halloween you never know but i doubt it so we have witch's brew which is been re-released we also have what do we have um oh we have the pumpkin creme caramel which is actually from this autumn collection and we have a woodwick one which is pumpkin praline so come Halloween, I will review the pumpkin praline from Woodwick for you. I will probably go over some of my all-time favourite pumpkin scents for you. And I have some votives coming that we can talk about, which are Trick or Treat and Haunted Hayride. So we'll light them up Halloween, see what we think to them. I also have my hands, I'm so excited about this, but... We'll wait and see, but hopefully have my hand. So my all-time favourite Yankee candle ever is Pumpkin Patch. And I love it, and I light it up Halloween, but I let it pull out and let it go for a little while and then put it out because I just don't want it to burn down because it's my only one, and it's my all-time favourite. Pumpkin Patch to me, one sniff of that, it's just autumn in a jar completely everything about autumn in a jar and there's something there that just really gives me them autumnal vibes and takes me back to my childhood I love it can't get my hands on it anywhere unless I want to play ridiculous prices that are on eBay and they are ridiculous prices but I've managed to find somebody um, who's got me one which is actually from America because the same scent out there is jack-o'-lantern. That is exactly the same as our pumpkin patch that we have here in the UK. So she has one of these signature tumblers for me with jack-o'-lantern, um, the jack-o'-lantern version, basically the American version. And I am so excited to get my hands on it. I cannot believe it. So I probably will use that one and save my original jar, what I have left of it. But yeah, so I'll be talking about that Halloween. Got all that coming up, and then we're gonna jump into Xmas. So basically around about November the 5th, I'm gonna start reviewing for you the four new Xmas ones, and then we'll jump into the whole collection. There's also a couple of other ones, isn't there, that I wanted to get for the Christmas to tag on. I think there was like a, a grapefruit and white spruce, one of them and a silver, silver sage and pine something like that i'm going to grab them ones as well and we'll review them and then i'm going to do my top 10 all-time christmas candles if i could only choose 10 and i think also i might touch on a video where i want to talk about what christmas candles can be carried on and be used in january february because some of them they're just like christmas aren't they you just feel there's no way you could be using them after christmas time and then there's other ones that are more wintry and I feel you can get away with. But I have had a lot of people say that to me. The whole collection seems to lack on the winter side of things. And I agree. 
I don't have many of the candles that I feel that I like to use in January, February. I don't want to be using real Christmassy ones. So yeah, I'm hoping that some of these new ones, Silver Sage and Pine, I can't remember the names of them, but some of them will be perfect for use in January, February time. And I'll be doing a list of what ones I do use for after Christmas. So yeah, that's it. If you've got any comments, thoughts and opinions on anything I've discussed today, please let me know down below because I will get back to you and I love to hear your thoughts and opinions basically. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps this tiny little channel to grow and I will be back with you next week.